All right, guys. Here we are. We are back with some Seven Days to Die. Now, I haven't played this game since, like, Alpha 17 or something. Like, it was a really, really, really long time ago. And I remember um, people were, like, pumping up, like, Alpha 18 or 19 or something like that. People were, like, super, super excited about it. And now, here it is, Alpha 21. Um, I guess a lot has changed since the last time I played the game till now. And I'm interested to see what this is. Now, last time I played Seven Days, I only played it multiplayer. I never really dug into the game, experienced anything on my own. I had a big group of viewers that were playing with me that pretty much carried me through the whole experience. Um, this time I'm gonna be doing a single player, um, solo focused uh, adventure where we're gonna kind of dig into the game that way. But that all depends on you guys as the viewers. You know, if you guys are here interacting with the content, watching the content, smashing the like button, it's the best way to let me know that you guys obviously wanna see more of it. So. Um, whether this becomes a series or not just completely depends on you guys. We'll go from there. So, you know, obviously if you guys like it, we'll do more. If not, hey, we'll just move on to something else. So, but I wanted to give it a chance. I wanted to check out what was going on with this uh, this game. So many of you guys are constantly telling me Seven Days to Die is so good. It's so good. It's so good. Um, so I'm excited. I am excited, guys. Um, we're going to go new game here. Now, I know before when I played this game, I played on, I think, this map here, the Navis Gain map. Um, let's just go with World 1. So... Ooh, we could go pre-gen 10k. Is that big? That sounds big. Pre-gen 10k. Or we could just go like random jet. I I I kind of wanted to do like a randomly generated world. Go new random gen. Cause I I do remember the 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 one map we played on. So yeah, I definitely wanted to try to kind of try to do a, a random ten k. Be huge. All right, cool, cool. Um, world size advanced. Yeah, I don't need to change any of this crap. I'm just gonna go random world. New random world, 10K. Um, okay, so none of that matters. Difficulty settings. So adventure is default. Should I just leave it on the adventure difficulty or should I bump it up? I don't I don't know. Let's say I'm, I'm, I'm a noob at this, so. Uh, so one day 60 minutes you know let's go one day 90 minutes how about that it's hard oh we'll just leave it on default then for right now until we at least learn the game and then maybe we can change some stuff up so blood moon i think it's when the seven days thing right happens we'll just leave all this stuff normal for right now I don't, yeah, I don't know what the hell any of this crap is, so we'll just leave it all normal. Loot respawn. Ooh, we could turn loot respawn off? Should we do that, guys? Turn loot respawn off? I mean, it's, I got a whole map to myself. I don't see... And it sounds like the maps are pretty big. You know, we'll turn, we'll turn loot respawn off. Why not? <laughs> Unless it breaks the game. Yeah, we'll go not listed on there for the. We'll see what happens. What's the what's the worst thing that's gonna happen, guys? What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? All right, so I think it has to make the world, right? Creating. I, I don't know how long it takes to do this, but let's read some uh, main screen bars. You got your health uh, shown in blue bars. Food and water shown in green blue bars. Under your tool belt, open your character screen. Am I a Twitch streamer? No. Known and unknown recipes. If you find have books or magazines, items in your inventory, you can uh, know this recipe. The small book symbol in the top left corner. Okay, okay, okay.
You have many status effects, buffs and debuffs. While you're in any game, skills and crafting, uh, click the effect icon at the far left to be taken. In. Okay. Iron pickaxe damages metal faster than stone. Okay, so yeah, we gotta. I gotta remember how to get into. The, so once we get into this game, that that city looks huge, by the way. That building is massive. Once we get in, our main goal is food, water, shelter. You know how it is, guys. Food, water, shelter, and then we'll go from there. Uh, CB, thank you, thank you for the membership. Welcome to the family, brother. Uh, Hillbilly, thank you, thank you for the super chat. Am I ready for the DLC, DL, uh, GTA DLC tomorrow? Yes, I am, and I'm looking forward to it. See, so yeah, I just got to get in. I, like I said, I don't know anything about this maps, these maps, or the layouts, or anything like that. So we're just gonna kind of do our homework, try to find food, water, shelter. You know how it is. Follow the starter missions. It's probably, uh, probably, probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, we're legit just going to be kind of winging it. I don't remember the map being deserty like that. That That looks really cool. I think when we played, it was like, it was kind of just, it was green and foresty. And I think when I went north, there was like a snow biome. And then when we went to the south, I remember there was like this, like, charred looking land. But that's, that's all I really remember. I don't remember any like desert. Uh, but guys, thank you, uh, Hillbilly, thank you for the super chat, man. Desert biome's brutal. What was for dinner? I just had some, uh, McDonald's sandwich. <clears throat> Spear is a new best starter weapon. Yeah, I mean, I definitely would like to get my hands on something like that. Uh, from what I remember, this game is, uh, there's no, like, dodging. So, spear would be easy melee weapon to keep distance between me and the zombies. It's taken a good bit, guys. It's been stuck on smoothing street tiles 88% for like five minutes now. Oh, there. Oh, it, it's not responding, guys. Was I trying to build too big of a map? All right, we'll give it a shot again. I was, I was clicking around and stuff. This time, I'll just kind of let it do its thing. This was uh, like a game thing. All right, let's try this again. What's a pre-gen 10K? Can I just go pre-gen 10K? When we hear this, that would probably be a little easier. Pre-gen 10K. Gen works fine. All right, we'll just do that one then. I mean, I probably still have to load and shit, but 90 minute days, difficulty, this, 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 boom, boom. 
Daylight, 18 hours, and start. That's a big lumberjack zombie right there. Brian Paul, I appreciate that, man. I don't know about whooping that lumberjack. He, he's, he's a big dude. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big boy right there. Oh, wow. Okay, we are in. Okay, started. Basics of survival. Dear friend, the wasteland can be on a freaking place. I found you naked. Yep, yep, yep. Um, basic survival, active quest. All right. Wow, I got to turn that sensitivity down. One sec, guys. Holy crap. It was like a lightning speed. We'll see how that feels. Jeez, I could even lower a little bit more, which is crazy. All right, let's do it. Like 13. All right. Wow, so this looks, I mean, I don't remember it looking this good graphically. It looks quite nice. All right, so it says um, punch grass to harvest plant fibers. Okay. Hold, uh, press tab to open the crafting menu. Select the bedroll from the list. Uh, plant fibers. Okay. I just craft one of them bad boys. Okay, so hold and drag the bedroll into an empty toolbox. So, there we go. Put it right there. And then... Get this place down, I guess. Okay, so what does this count as a... Is, is the bedroll's like, like arc where it acts as a respawn zone? A respawn location? So... Punch stone, grass, bushes, look for yellow to find resources. Okay, cool. Okay, so what did we get from that? Uh, we got a little bit of wood from that. Pick up stone off the ground. There ain't no zombies around here, luckily. Oh, so I can just loot this truck here. Uh, wow. We got a bone knife right off the bat. That's cool. A wheel and some regular bone. So I'll just grab this. Got some kind of weapon. Okay. Yeah, that's fast. Uh, so I'm wasting weapon durability, though, doing that. So I don't get off of that. Oh, let's get up and search this building. Wow, this looks so much better than I remember. Shift click. It's got feathers there. I wonder... I don't remember if there was bow and arrow. GET THE FUCK OUT OF HERE! You like harvest it for meat and shit? Oh, you can't- you can harvest it for feathers. Nice, yeah, so you can harvest- I don't know if I can eat any of that rotting flesh yet, but we got a bunch of feathers there. Um, you can repair stuff. I wonder. 
Oh, fuck, there's a whole zombie right there. Well, no, it's actually not a whole zombie. It's a half a zombie. That's a whole zombie. Oh, shit. Right, is there like a way to block or whatever in this game? Or is it just like, do I just gotta kind of... Want to go check this building, man, but... Damn! Nice, okay. Oh, now, do zombies, like, have loot or whatever? I don't... I can't, like, search them. I wanted to check if I could repair this knife. Yeah, right here. So what did it what did it cost? Like what does it tell you what it costs to repair shit? Repair with bone. Okay. So as long as I got bone, I can repair the knife too easy. Check this little box here. Nice, got some more bone. Damn, we're getting tons of bones, man. Got some iron right there. Now, there's no, like, human enemies in this game, are there? I don't know if that's alive or dead. It's got some more bone. Got a cooking pot. More bone, lead, grill. So I'm just grabbing kind of everything right now. I don't... We'll sort through our, our, our loot later on. See what we actually need and what we don't. So metal folding chair. Got a radio here. Don't know what that does. Okay, it's just a bird. Is that bird different than the one that attacked me earlier? Was that the same shit that flew at me earlier? It would be cool to like... Get down there and see. Oh, we got a bandana. So I'll take it. That's a clothing item. I don't know. Let's see. Here we go. Character. Got a bandana on now. What the fuck was that? Holy shit. How the fuck 
How did it get out of there? Okay, so the game wants me to craft the stone axe. Let me see here. Yeah, this. Get one of those crafted. Okay, so I got a little bit of water. I got a little bit of food. I'll take it this blue bar. The blue bar and the green bar are my food and water. My health is down a bit. Uh, what about bandages? Can I craft bandages? Yeah, right here. So I need medical level 5 in order to craft that. That kind of sucks. What about these bandages? We just need cloth fragments for those. Oh, it was below the catwalk? Got you. I thought it was inside the building. But it's all good. We, we took care of them. I thought it was in this... Okay, so we got some padded leg armor, some shoddy shells, chicken soup, and a structural brace mod. Do I gotta like break that crate open or something in order to get the loot? Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, so. Oh, uh, we got Tools Digest. That's a book, right? Okay. Improves harvesti harvesting tool crafting. Found a little bit of oil. My inventory's already getting full. Oh, cloth fragment there. Search pile of ammo. Ooh, we got a pipe baton. Got a new weapon. And some... 762. I'm getting overweight. Is that why my guy's moving so slow? I have to start dropping some, like, this heavy stuff. Uh, Justin RPG, thank you, thank you for the membership. A hardened survivor at that, brother. That is huge, man. Thank you so much. How you doing? All right, so now we got to figure out where the hell we're going to go from here. Um, the spot is clear. It's up off the ground. I don't know if I want to live here for right now, though. Let me see. Do I got the map? Okay, so, I mean, how big is 10K, though? Like, Wait, seriously? Is that the actual whole fucking map? No way, dude. Stop it. Wait, how big is the map, chat? What did I do? All right, so let's finish the starter mission. Open crafting menu, tab, craft pants. Okay. It's not better than my padded leg armor, though. That was kind of a waste. Oh, no, they... Okay, so they go down here. It's different. So armor and the pants itself are completely different. Got it. Now it says uh, craft a wooden club. Got to go gather some wood. Craft a wooden club. Never use it, though. Okay, so look for... We got to gather wood. 
Oh, craft a bow and arrow. That's what's up. Oh, look at this, guys. There's all types of guns. Kind of like Fallout. Like the pipe guns and stuff. Yeah, pipe machine gun, pipe pistol, pipe rifle, pipe shotgun. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we got to gather uh, more wood and stone. Then we got to craft the primitive bow. And get a little bit more wood. Now I should be able to do a fair bit of arrows. Oh, uh, we actually got to get more stone. I want to do a bunch of arrows. Ten square kilometers is a huge map. Mr. Demark, thank you so much, man. Yeah, it, it's definitely freaking huge, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that now. Hopefully, there's vehicles. Is there some type of vehicles in this game? Because if not, that's gonna be rough. Be like Daisy. But well, thank you, man. I appreciate the super chat. Ooh, we just got an egg. I don't wonder if we could eat that. Uh, it be eaten raw, but it should be cooked. Okay. Some more stone. Can I hatch it like this big rock or something? This? Yeah, there we go. Pickaxe would probably be way better, obviously. Patrick with the five months. Thank you so much. Need zombie bird shirt. It says get. <laughs> okay, so now I should be able to do a fair bit of arrows. Do 11. I don't know if you can recover your arrows from the zombies. Okay, so hunger and thirst seems like it's lasting a decent bit. It's not going down crazy fast, but it's also not going to last forever. So, do stone axe, harvest some more. So, I got to start a base. We got to craft a building block. Um. Uh, Press W to equip the building block to the tool belt. Okay, so I gotta have my axe out, then I can upgrade. Oh, shit. Okay. Now I gotta build a campfire. It's all quite, quite simple. Okay, good job, Survivor. You've proved you're capable of potential and marked on a map near White River Outpost location where you will find a trader where you can buy and sell goods, trade stories with um, our friendly citizens. Welcome aboard. Okay. So, obviously, we'll start making our way that way then. Oh, a lot of bird nests, man. That's what's up. Looks quite clear for right now. I don't see any zombies. Should 
Should have grabbed my damn uh, sleeping bag, but I just crafted another one. It's not like it was expensive. Just had to punch a little. Ooh, what is this? Learn outfits, shops, workbenches, mixers, improve work, shop craft. Zombie over there. Wanted to test out this bow and arrow. Oh, shit. That was way more effective than I thought it was going to be. Can you, can you get the arrow back, though, is the question. I don't think so. Oh, this isn't even the trader location. Okay. It's actually further than this. We'll, we'll pass through loot this area out, see if we can find... It's just a single zombie over there in the woods. Yeah. My inventory is super full right now. I'm actually going to start dropping some of this crap I don't think I need right now. Keep the cooking stuff. What is this? Land claim block. I don't care. I don't, do, I, do I need a land claim block in single player? Place that will protect area from players and people and prevent zombie response. Okay, yeah, so I definitely do need that. Get rid of that wooden club. Oh, you can make one of these later? Yeah, I just I just don't I want to keep my inventory, you know, relatively cleared so I can get some loot. Nice. Murky water. Improves crafting skills. I don't know if these zombies are dead or... Ooh, we got a level 2 bow. Never repaired it. I gotta definitely increase that aim sensitivity. Holy shit, that shit is non existent. Oh, why can't I run? Oh, because I'm crouched. Okay, I gotta. My, my aim sensitivity is like absolute trash. Yeah, so I got my arrow back that time. Oh man, it's a tough dude. Good shot. There it is. None of those arrows we got back, unfortunately. R to take all.
Shot my arrows. Let's try this baton. Oh. Oh, it's actually got some pretty good knockdown. Have to do a bit of uh scavenge for some rocks later on. Get a good supply of arrows up. I do like the bow. The bow feels good, man. The bow feels real good. Uh mushrooms. I wonder if you can Okay, collect those. I don't know if they're edible or not, but. Oh, there's a rabbit. This is a rabbit. Right there. Stuck. Hey, little bunny. Little bunny dude. Okay, so now we're starting to get into the, the heavy carry or whatnot. Let's we'll start dropping some stuff. Probably make get over to that damn trader and we'll be good. Let's see if there's anything worth looting in here. Oh yeah, look at this! It's like a freaking. You know what? Let's we'll, we'll go. We'll drop this this loot at the trader. We'll come back to this location. Let me see if we can eat something. Okay, so yeah, our food's going up right there. So how do you get water? I got the I got two things of water. And I got this murky water. Do you gotta like boil it? You can boil at campfire. Okay, cool. So what you find dirty water and then you just boil it clean? I got a cooking pot right here. Yeah, I got a cooking pot. So we gotta go find somewhere we can uh, use this like a temporary base. Oh shit, look how big this, what? This place is huge. Maybe like base out in the near the, near the trader, man. the flag now what are the zombies actually like in this game can you, can you get some pretty big hordes like ambient hordes or not really a thing so right now I've only seen like onesie twosies here and there I wonder like how many zombies you could really see I, I probably should close this right Trader Hugh. Oh, shit. Oh, so I could loot all this shit?
Oh, does this dude sell guns? Are you a customer? All right, let's see your inventory. So he sells gun parts, bullets, clothes. Oh, he doesn't have any actual guns, though. He's got water for sale. All right, let me start selling some stuff to this dude. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I'll sell him a freaking radio, I guess. Okay, so we got a little bit of money for that. Sell that for right now. He doesn't want the rotten flesh. I don't know what the rotten flesh is used for. It might be a crafting item or something. Okay, hold on. I guess you're not so bad after all. So if I want to build like 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 storage crates, let me see. Or can you store things in like pre-existing containers? Like if you move into a house that has cabinets, for instance, and I, I I'm like this is my base now. Can I like use the cabinets as storage, or do I have to craft my own storage? Oh, why is that? Was that a bad place to go? It's just got skulls. Where are your clothes at, lady? Oh, damn. Cool. At least she had underwear on. Got the saloon right here we can maybe base in. House right here. Yo, I love this stagger, man. I don't remember this game having this stagger like that, but... That shit makes the melee combat nice, because you don't have to worry about the zombies just, like, tank and spank. But why are these all got skulls? I'm just trying to find a place to live, man. <laughs> Seriously? Want to go third person? Birch, thank you for the super chat, brother. There's a third person? Press F1, then type in DM. Oh, shit, look at that. I didn't know this game even had a third person. So look at that, guys. Yeah, you can play it in first... Okay, so this one has a one skull. And it's still better than... It looks pretty clear. It's close enough to the traders for right now. Let's get in here. I just want to get this place cleared out. So do I got to break the door? Damn it, the only thing though is... I wonder if I can find a... So if I break the door, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> have to fucking repair it, man. And the zombies will be able to come in. I guess we'll just break it. It is what it is. 
We'll just have to like block it off or something. And then look at this. There's like a little uh, way up into there. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I see it. Quite a few zombies in here. At least two right now. Guys, come outside. This house is big as fuck. We got a flashlight. Whoops. Is there like a light button chat? L? Oh no. No, I gotta use torches and shit. It's clear for now. Go we'll check that basement. This game's got a pretty, pretty cool environment, man. Shit, there's like three zombies down there. Oh, stamina. Ouch. Yeah, I suffered a deep laceration. Well, that sucks. We are dead. Damn, yo, that was... That was crazy. I don't have any bandages. <laughs> Got five skill points to spend. So I, I, I'm infected. What does that mean? I don't know. I got like the the hand. Yeah, I got the well. The craft bandages. I got to get some more. Um, what was it? Uh, cloth fragments. I only have one right now, so that's why I was trying to clear out this house. But probably I can uh, maybe I can go buy some from the trader. But yeah, let's just try to get this place cleared out. So the house seems clear of zombies at the moment. Let's go ahead and get it closed up for right now. It's got to get this door sealed. So let me see. Can, can I craft a door? Wood door. Here we go. So I need 10 pieces of wood.
Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get our base secure here. Um door. So we'll do wood door here. Craft one of these. Which way is it going to open? Okay, perfect. That's exactly the way I wanted it to open. I just want to make sure it didn't open that way. Okay, so now we got a new door on there. Um, let me look at storage. Create. Would it have to be something like this? Wood furniture? Oh, storage box. Here we go. Storage box. We need nails and wood. How the hell can I get more nails? Can you break down stuff for nails, guys? Like, if I were to, like, start breaking down furniture, like, could that net me wood? Or, um... I could probably use this for storage. Nope. Try secure storage box. There's the writable storage. Or I don't uh we got the secure storage. Here it is. Yeah, so this one just needs wood. Alright, so we'll get some of this set up. Start breaking down some of this. You can destroy anything basically. Oh, so we don't even need to chop down trees for wood, guys. We could, like, just, like... Oh, okay. So we could just, like, re... Purpose everything in our base, for the most part. So it's like Minecraft, almost, when it comes to, like... Being able to destroy everything, for the most part. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I gotta repair this. Some more wood. Alright, so we're gonna start working on some of these storage crates. Wow, these actually hold so much. Okay, so we're gonna put. Yeah, it sounds like it's on my on my base. Want to get them off? I don't want them to break anything. Perfect. No, yeah, the box is legit. I'm really, really happy with that. And it's only wood. Yeah, it's only wood to craft them, too. So that that's pretty legit. Go watch our stamina. I got that really bad cut, though, or whatever. Two hours. Does that mean I'm going to die? What is happening? What is that yellow symbol, guys? Thirsty? Oh, okay, so we'll go ahead and drink then. Okay. So it's like a hydrate over time thing. Can I craft bandages? I need to get more cloth. 
And I'll be able to craft some bandages. But right now, we're trying to just get our inventory squared away. We're going to put all of our crafting resources in here. I'll have to go out and deal with that damn zombie. I could already know it. And I'll build... Actually, grab this. Let's craft all these. Yeah, that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start breaking down the resources in the house. I haven't even looted the house out yet, so... Ooh, hold on. It's got a football helmet. right there for right now so it's a it's random crap in here for right now I'm gonna sort all this out later once I figure out what's what and I'll keep my food and water separate though we'll, we'll have that in its own crate but until I figure out what's what So I do got some, we got a little bit of meat we can cook. We got some chicken soup here. Throw that there. This is our like money. Here, store resources. Got our money. We got some murky water. So I'm gonna have to do a campfire. Can now I, I can make a campfire inside, right? It's not a big deal. I right, start looting this place out. Got to clear this damn zombie again. Got him. If I throw it on... Did I get rid of that damn land claim block? I don't remember. I think I did. So what do I need to make another one of those? So I want to make sure zombies aren't spawning where I am. So we see land. Claim block. We just need five stones. And then I'll make a sleeping bag once I get, uh, I got actually, I got enough grass to make a sleeping bag. So I take 30 seconds. Yeah, I got the grass here. So we'll go ahead and do a sleeping bag or the bedroll. Our food and stuff in here. So there was no upstairs to this house, right? I think there was just one floor. I might put my um, sleeping bag up top here. Shit. Uh, it kind of sucks. Maybe we'll put it in the basement. Basement would probably be the safer place for right now. I'm going to get this whole area cleared out. It'll be nice down here, guys. It'll be a nice little basement base. You know what I mean? But for right now, let's get this bed roll down. Then I'll put down the land claim block. So, so I just put this bad boy down anywhere. it out here maybe and this will stop zombies from spawning at least all right now let's get to work there we go now we're getting some cloth 
more more cloth right there. Do some emergency bandages. Honey for infection. Oh yeah, my Oh, that shit's building up, guys. I wonder if we should go to the trader and see if he has any goodies for us. Loot out the house, see if we... Murky water, flour, charred meat. Book. I don't know if maybe the house will have some honey in it. You know? We are hungry. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Being a little stingy right now, game. Come on, hook it up, dude. What happened to streamer luck, guys? I yeah, might have to make our way over to the uh, trader, see what he had on him. No honey and loot. That sucks. Okay, so I got two murky waters, some charred meat. We'll head over to the trader real quick. Used to brew or craft a tea. When I get back, I'll, co I'll try to cook up some of that meat. No, the only problem is I need something to sell this dude, right? Because I only got 40... 44 dukes. So maybe I'll sell him, like... Some of this crap. I don't want to sell that. So the bow, maybe. That crappy bow. Oh, yeah, I could loot his his building too. Yeah, good good point. So what? Once my that that three point eight percent infection hits a hundred, what do I die? Well, hundred. That's a lot of brass. And what is that? Animal fat. Torch brother with the super chat out here. Giving away a copy of Seven Days to the to the stream, man. That's so kind of you, brother. That is so kind of you, man. Hey, whoever gets that, congrats. You loot, I shoot. Wait, so can I not loot? I'm just gonna sell everything I can. Oh, damn it, there's actually a lot of stuff to loot in here. Wow, 30 wood. Search destroyed forge. Oh. Destroyed chemistry station. Oil shot. This is generator, I'll take it. We'll get some fuel. So 
what happens if you do die in this game? Because obviously I'm pretty sure I'm going to die at some point. Um, will I just respawn on my sleeping bag? <clears throat> okay, let's see. So he's got water, boiled eggs. He's got this elixir. Learning elixir, moonshine. Doesn't have any honey, though, guys. Is there anything else I could do for the infection? I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. What? I have to ask you to buy some of my stuff, dude. So I'm up to 400, but yeah, he doesn't have find antibiotics to help treat the infection. Okay. Good luck with that. Oh, you really shot at me, dude. Like you loot, I shoot. Oh, are those good arrows? Oh, crossbow bolts. Oh, medicine cabinet. Come on, baby. Uh, we got steroids and a first aid kit. Will that first aid kit do anything for me? It stops bleeding, heals wound, increase abrasion, healing, starts to laceration. I don't uh, I think I need to use that, right? won't cure infection what about that hand thing though the one hour 40 minutes is that just like some kind of injury we oh, got some lock picks Shetty parts. Daylight's burning. It's almost nighttime. It's about 8 o'clock at night, so this dark is going to be setting in. I'm going to probably die from this damn infection unless we could find like maybe a hospital or something that we could loot. But I don't think going out at night would be a good idea. Press B for status effects. Oh, I got a mild infection. My I'm weakened, hungry, deep lacerations, uh, death penalty, XP penalty protection. Oh. Okay, so I won't lose anything if I die right now, guys. Tree stumps? For uh what honey? Oh good. We're gonna we're gonna take some time and loot up this uh this house. If we die, I mean, we're gonna be in the house anyways. So what is what's the worst that's gonna happen, right? That in there, that. I have no clue what the hell any of this stuff is. Okay, arrowheads. Got feathers there. Keep this stuff in here too for right now. Alright, so let me get a campfire built because uh, we got to eat.
So I got this grill, cooking grill to use uh, in the campfires to unlock recipes. Okay, so let's get a campfire built first thing. All I need is five small stones. Break down everything, can't you? I was like, yeah, I wonder if I could like clear out the kitchen a little bit. Okay, yeah, you could literally break down everything. That's yo, it's like Zomboid in that front, like, because when you're playing Zomboid, yo, you can literally break down like almost everything. Go ahead, place this campfire down. And I want to see if that grill piece... How do you add the grill piece? Oh, okay, I see it right there. Boom. And then I got the... Oh, look at that. And it, it, it add the little grill piece. And then it said the cooking pot, too, so I could probably throw that on there. And then we also need, like, some kind of little beaker thing. So we need fuel. Uh, we can obviously use wooden stuff for that. So I'm gonna grab some wood. Now, can you like split stacks? Yep, right click. And then my meat here will cook this up. And I'll also boil up this water. Okay, so let's see here. Put the wood in. Turn that bad boy on. We got 10 minutes of fuel. So I could do charred meat. Do grilled meat. So I'll do two charred meats. And now we can do water. Boiled meat? Oh, is boiled meat better? Well, that sucks. What do you need? Do you need water for boiled meat, don't you? I, also, I need food level 8. I don't have a high enough level to do that one yet, I don't think. Okay, so it takes a bit of time, as you guys see. It takes about two minutes to cook. It's not instant by any means, which is fine. We'll eat what we have here. We got some food we can eat. Mushrooms can be eaten uncooked. Um, yeah, so eat that mushroom too. Skill points. Let's see. Okay, so I have five points. Spear master. We should probably actually learn how to craft a, a spear. Be a nice weapon to get early on. 
Sticks and stones remember the spears do 10% more damage. And power attacks have 20% chance to slow enemies. Stamina cost reduced by 8%. Let's get that. Then we're gonna learn how to make a spear. Lucky looter, what is this? You'll find better loot with every perk level. Ooh, yeah, that's let's grab that. Put one point in a master chef. You know, there's so there's so many skills, guys. Oh man. Measure of physical resilience. You got recovery perks. Iron gut. Specialize. Use less calories and gain more benefits from food. That's not bad either. Master chef. Learn how to become decrease in cooking time. That's big. Yeah, it's definitely big. Pack mule, um, carry more. Uh, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. You need to put one point in Master Chef. I don't know. If, can your food burn? That night. Does that mean it's nighttime? And like, I should be worried about it. Some people were saying I should I should wait until after I die before I start worrying about food and stuff, and I think that's a good idea. I think that's a great idea. Because yeah, there's no point in uh feeding this character if it's just gonna die. Well, we got the respawn protection right now, so I just wanna go through and loot this house out as much as I can. Crouch at night. Oh, we got some leather. Why? What's wrong with night? Is there any way to, to skip over the night? Get in the basement, loot this out. Would like to loot out that little hidden spot there in the 
in the garage. We'll get to that here soon, too. At least down here, I don't have to worry about, like... there it's there Oh, we just got a gun, guys. Pipe machine gun. And I got this laser mod. Can I put that on the gun? Modify. Oh, hold on. I think I gotta loot it first. And we got two real bandages. Let's see. Modify. Oh, I can! Look at that. How do you turn a laser on? That didn't matter, but we got some ammo for this bad boy too. Oh, there's more. Look at that. That's good, right? Press F. Oh shit. Is this a pretty good gun? I mean, it's a freaking machine gun. Uh, battery, tech planet, mechanical parts. Now... Does breaking stuff down make quite a bit of noise? Like, I don't, I don't know, like, how much noise I can get away with. So I just broke that down and it did okay. It was all right. Still a zombie outside. Damn, guys, the night's not going fast. Like it's, it's only been like almost two hours. We got a lot of nights. <laughs> Fuck. Thank <laughs> you. 
fucking cracking it, guys. Kill it. The problem is, I think there's. respawn. Nice, you better go up there and get my... There's the first one, guys. Uh, but Dustin, thank you for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it, man. And Mario with the super chat, you need to build yourself and get yourself an auger and a 4x4 four four and build up intelligence. Oh, son, I'm having a blast, man. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat, brother. I hope you're having a great night. Brain, you need to get yourself an auger and the 4x4. Four four. Build up intelligence. I want to go get my loot back, but I don't want to get my freaking base torn apart, man, by these damn zombies that are right outside. Yeah, so the goal is to get this, probably this underground area cleared out at least. How you liking it? Because the zombies can't break through the walls down here, right? Seems like it'd be secure. Yeah, she hit. She hit the little um, headphone holder down here. Play demonologist? I don't know about that, Priscilla. Oh, they can dig the ground? That's OP as shit, man. Siggy, so thank you, thank you. Um, wasn't there stairs up to an attic in the ground? Yeah, yeah, there was a ladder. That's what I actually, that's where I just died, where that is. Sounds like that zombie's gone. Oh, damn, he's got a good bit of ammo there. And a level 2 hatchet. Prepare the 
repair with short iron pipe. We're just gonna loot up this top area here. So zombies can climb ladders. So I remember they, they climbed up out of that damn ranger station when I was over there. And that one had a metal hatch. Oh shit, it's all above my house here. You climb anything? That I can. That sucks. It's nowhere safe, is it? There's some goodies on top of that. Sandwich or shamwich? Topsies, cornmeal. I don't know if it. Sand. Storage containers are actually quite nice. Make sure to loot all the mailboxes you see and get to the wasteland for the best loot. Mario, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, man. I have no idea what the wasteland is, but I'll definitely try to get to it. Okay, so I got 24 freaking bullets, guys. I'm winning. We got to be able to kill a lot of stuff with that, right? Oh, yeah. Easily defend myself now. Still want to see if we can get some arrows crafted, actually. Because the, the gun's going to be like a emergencies only situation. Because, yeah, that thing's going to be terribly loud. So we'll grab that, that, and that. I believe that's what we needed for arrows, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So we'll do 27 arrows. Then I think I even had some metal arrowheads, right? So do you got to learn a recipe for metal arrowheads? Iron arrow, here we go. Nope, so I just need the iron arrowheads. So I can craft four of those too. So in this game, should you wait until all of your, your weapon is completely broken before repairing it? Or is there like a partial cost? Or it's like you pay the full cost no matter what, so just wait until your stuff's fully broke? I don't... So for instance, like this is almost broken. I need a short pipe. Okay, so it's the same cost no matter how broke it is. Got you.
Okay, we got two hours left. And we're going to be heading out, doing some, some big loot and try to search the town. See what kind of locations we could find. Pretty much looted out the whole house here. Did you guys say you could search behind pictures? You're in a death trap. Always try to build base above ground so you can control their access to you. Is it, is it really? You guys don't like my base that much? I, I felt like my I felt like my base was legit. Like too legit. So this could be repaired with cloth. And even and repaired with a repair kit. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to fix that, but I could repair the pads at least. And craft the rest of my armor because we have we don't have no clothes on, so let's grab the rest of this guy's cloth and that. Oh, shit. Scrap boots? That's not that bad. Duct tape, leather, and uh, some iron. For some scrap armor. I can actually afford that. Let's get, yeah, let's get some scrap armor. Or does that... Is there any downside to the scrap armor? Or is it, is it going to be good, good protection? Wait. Hold on. Uh, John, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. Appreciate it, man. Hold R. Swap ammo types. Gotcha. Okay, so we got that, that, and then... Duct tape. Sounds like there's a lot of zombies around my base right now. Okay, so we got the... And there, we'll do... Padded gloves. Do these shoes for right now. We got a decent bit of armor on now. Less naked. So hold R, right? Oh, okay, I see it. Exploding arrows, flaming arrows, steel arrows, iron arrows. So I'm going to keep my stone ones for right now. Uh, but John, guys, I, I really do appreciate all the super chats. You guys are awesome. We got over 400 likes on the stream. I really appreciate it. But wearing one piece of scrap armor, right, shouldn't be a big deal, right? We, the durability of one more arm have uh, been weakened should repair. Yeah, so they're talking about this. We could repair this with cloth. Oh, and then I can't repair that helmet. It is what it is. Okay, so we got a little bit. It's about to be daytime. I don't... Yeah, so it said to repair the helmet. I needed a repair kit. I don't know if... Oh, okay, so you can actually make a repair kit out of forged iron and duct tape. Which is cool, because I actually have I actually have some forge iron, but I think I just used the rest of my duct tape. Can you craft duct tape? You can craft duct tape. 
Cloth and glue. All types of crafting in this game, man. Okay, so we, and then the thing here, now I should be able to craft the repair kit. Sounds like it's on my freaking building again. So we're going to have to clear these guys off once the sun comes up. Sounds like there's at least four or five zombies around me. Why are they just swarming to my base, man? Like, I thought that only happens on the, um... On the seventh day. Also, gotta try to get some water. I know the trader has some from for sale, so. Seriously? Okay, it looks like it's about to be light out. Should it make a noise when the zombies stop running? Okay, that means I can go out, right? Start clearing these guys off. They should no longer be runners, so it should be able to easily pick them off with the bow. We had quite a few. Those arrows. I gotta aim a little higher. Yeah, there we go. Good shot. Honestly, the melee is pretty good, man. Sneak attacks with bow do th get 350% damage, really? So do I just gotta crouch? Oh, wow, yeah, look at that. That's what's up right there. That's the that's the big damage. All right, house is clear. Okay, so we're gonna head out. Some looting. I 
Divine with the super chat. Thank you so much. Clear houses in morning. Check attics. Best loot there. Basements sometimes have bunkers with... Oh, shit. Uh, when you uh, loot, zombies come uh, when you make noise at night. Gotcha. Brian clear houses in morning check attics best loot there. Basements sometimes have bunkers with zombies. Don't buy books will find them when you loot zombies come when you make noise at night. I didn't even think I was making that much noise. I thought I was being quiet, man. But Yeah, just like the simple stuff. Alright, so we're gonna go kind of search town. It's a big, big town here, so I just want to see if there's any like um medical stores or whatnot. Right now we're just kind of going to scan, see what we got around here. Oh yeah, the trader gives quests, right? Auxilla Ranch. That's a really nice looking house right there. Oh, there's like little spike traps in front of that. I probably should go grab a quest from the trader. John, thank you so much for the super chat, man. Two birds, one stone, you know what I mean? If I'm going out to loot and explore anyways. The bunny there it was dinner, man. that time seriously Oh, so we got some food there. We can cook up. Antiques, post office, and then the saloon. Is 
Time does the trader open? It's freaking locked. Just after six? Okay, well, we only got a few minutes. Check out this antique store then while we wait. What is this rotten flesh used for? Didn't even say it had any recipes tied to it. Why is that guy a runner? Oh, okay, he's not. Damn, we smashed his face. Grip mod schematic. Shotgun duck bill mod schematic. So how do you know if you've already read a book? Improve spear crafting. Improve shotgun crafting. Ooh, worn boots. And they're dyed red. Let's wear them bad boys. Got some good boots. At least they seem better than what I had on. Blueberry seeds. A lot of stone right there. Oh, empty save. It's murky water. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? That's a big boy. That's a real big boy. What is he doing?
But does the game have any chill, like, at all? As Chris was over here judging me, not even knowing what just happened. Over here looking at me with such judgment. Dude, this nice stick is pretty good, man. We use with other ingredients to make shotgun ammo, dynamite, and cigars. too easy to get surrounded. Let's get over to the trader. Hurt my freaking knee or something. I don't know what the hell that means. An abrasion. Bumps and bruises are our most common injury. Heal over time. Perks medical to LA cream. First aid bandage or... BTW. Wounded cops explode if you don't kill them before. They also spit damaging green goo at you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for letting me know that now, Mr. DeMarc, you know? After it exploded. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate the support, though, man. You guys are awesome. All right, Trader Hugh. A venom machine? Oh, shit. Can you actually buy... Oh, you can actually buy food and stuff out of here. Quite expensive, though. There's a blood moon coming. Yeah, he's got a lot of 9 mil ammo. Gunpowder, machine gun parts, water filters. Let's see, is there anything I want to sell this guy? I guess we could sell this. Can't. So this is a key resource for forging and farming. Okay. We want to hold on to that. Be used for building. So I really don't want to sell anything. Right. I only do business with a mission real with this guy. customers. Uh, so clear zombies. Tier one, whatever that means. It's only 255 meters away. I've got a task for you, if you think you can handle it. Oh, we need you to clear out some zombies at the smokehouse. Too Glad easy. you came to your senses. Got it, brother. All right, I'm going to stop by my base really quick. We'll do a dump, and then we'll go clear out that. That location fetches easier.
Yeah, I mean, I don't plan on this being my permanent base. It's just somewhere to store my shit right now. Oops. Should probably bring those lockpicks with me, actually. Just in case we run into something that needs to be lockpicked. Where the hell are the rest of my? I thought I had more. Here they are. Got some more water that I could boil up. I'm actually gonna have to do that. I'm gonna buy some water from the the trader, though. I think. No, you know what? It doesn't take very long, right, to cook this. Doesn't take very long to get that going. It's just save me some money. There's no reason why going out and spending resources. We're spending money right now. Head out and do this mission. Clear some zombies. Oh, I should drop that stone. So how do I know what my cooking level is? Is it in the... Yeah, I'm f level four. So I gotta get up to level eight before I can boil, um... Oil and meat. So we're just gonna have to do chard for right now. A sandwich too. It will take away hunger, but also make you sick. Oh, I don't want. I don't want that then. Uh, crafted into seeds or used in several recipes. Chicken soup. So the water doesn't. Um, Oh, no, it's doing pretty decent. Okay. I was like, man, I drank that water. It didn't seem like it filled me much. A few seconds on this. Charred meat. Because it's so dark. Oh, is it raining outside? The speed boost is weird.
Why can't I crouch? What, what, why am I flying? What the fuck? What happened, guys? How am I flying? I'm stuck! I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm in the air, dude. Turn off DM. Oh, he told me to do the DM so I could put it in first person. I didn't know that it was gonna like mess shit up. How do you how do you turn it off? DM off. Oh, hit, hit. Sorry. All right, it's off. How do, how do I get down? Relog. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened. All of a sudden, I just started floating. Ah, we're normal again. Okay. Let's go clear out the zombies. I only got nine minutes left on that abrasion after applying the bandage compared to an hour. So that's a pretty cool medical system. It's like, if you don't have the resources, like you got to wait wicked, wicked long. But if you have some good resources, looks like there might be some stuff down there. could use that sandwich for anything because it says it makes you sick This is over near that little campsite that I remember I said I was going to head back out here. It was like guns and shit in there. I forgot, guys. We didn't even come back up here. Can I put... Can can you get a suppressor for like the pipe machine gun that I have? I don't know if there's even suppressors in this game. I could use a craft them. I have to. I got. I should probably look that up. Suppressor, silencer. Oh, I need a schematic for that. Okay, so this is where we gotta clear out zombies.
Big dude. He wasn't having it. Seriously? Kane with the five gifted. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate that. Everybody receives one of those. Welcome to the fam. How you doing tonight, man? Oh, some of them shots seem like I was aiming right at his face and it just went not right at his face. Stealth damage, right? Chris donated twelve dollars and fifty-one cents. You are my all-time favorite streamer, and great to see you playing seven days. As this is my all-time fave survival game. Chris, thank you so much for that, brother. I really appreciate it, man. Now, I'm, I'm, a lot of you guys have been claiming, you know, how great this was, and I kind of put it off for a while. Kind of regretting it now, but yeah, it's definitely pretty damn good. Like that Skyrim sneak bonus. There we go. Easy, easy, easy mission. Right, let me loot out the inside here. Yeah, look at that. Improved seed crafting skill. Ooh, pipe shotgun. Okay, so we're getting more, more guns and stuff, guys. What is this? The ball cap mod? What that means. Uh, more iron arrows. Uh, nice, so we just learned weapon flashlights. Uh, keep your robots from becoming junk robots and stun baton to grade 20. Jumps up faster, time to be bullied. Give your rivals a fat lip with a knuckle sandwich improves knuckle crafting skill. Easy enough, guys, easy enough. Oh, nice. I actually got a pumpkin from that. All right, there's our first mission done. Easy enough. Uh, yeah, you can play multiplayer on this game. I believe, isn't there servers? I don't know if there's servers. I don't know. I might just be talking about my ass, but I thought there were servers for this game too. Like, kind of like Rust and stuff like that.
One minute, 42 seconds on our injury. Well, I lost the bet on this one. Here's some money. So we got 3,000 XP, 800 Dukes. Wow, dude, five. So we get to pick either crafting skill magazine bundle, repair kits, armor plating, helmet light mod, which is pretty damn nice. I might grab that. Yeah, we'll grab that. Okay. Well, what kind of lousy customer are you anyways? I really don't want to sell anything. Like, that's so weird. Sell this radiator, I guess. It's like, I feel like, especially early again, I don't know, like, I, like I could use everything. Let me say, how you doing? Oh, we'll go drop this stuff, and then we're gonna head in town. Like I said, I wanted to, I wanted to see if we could search and try to find. Um, some like I don't know, like maybe a pharmacy type of building. I, I want to see what the what the town is layout is. With loot respawn off, uh, you want to hold everything. Well, I figured, yeah, that and the map is so big, you know what I mean? I figured it'd take ages for me to loot this entire map clean. If that's even possible, you know what I mean? I actually want to keep that. I'm about to eat and drink before we head back out. Notice us do. No, we won't mess with that. So now my helmet has a light, right? Yeah, look at that. Boom. That's dope. So now we can see in dark areas. You eat and drink really quick. Okay, hey, thank you for the two months. How you doing tonight? Check those bird nest feathers and eggs. Yeah, I should be grabbing those. I said there's so many things. It's hard to it's hard to keep my my puny brain tracking everything at the moment. But the feathers are definitely clutch when it comes to crafting uh the arrows. Here we go. Way short. Super Shamway. Would I just enter the hell zone or something? Got it. Oh, it's raining. Okay. I 
I don't is the sham is that a grocery store because I think the one thing was called sham the sham witch Oh, that's a big store right there. It's got four skulls, though. I don't know. That's seems like I might be. A oh, I'm cold. Shit. I just break the glass, right? Pretty clear for right now. Very many arrows left. Collect the damn arrow, bro. God damn. Switch to the iron arrows for right now. Oh, bro, I came here for the damn food, dude. Painkillers, paper. Okay, so nice. We just got some medical supplies. Place is fucking huge. Getting some good medical supplies right now. Bandages, painkillers, sewing kit. I think you guys said the sewing kits could be used for lacerations, right?
wonder if I can get in that pharmacy right there. We gotta have to chop through this metal though. That's yeah, freaking locked. It's outside. I don't know what that seed is. Inventory's starting to get full again. My cue? <laughs> That's my cue, guys. <laughs> We're gonna go back, we'll dump. Come back out. Got some good meds out of there, though. About two o'clock. A little bit of daylight left. more meat. We should probably do a little more hunting if we find any uh, animals out there. Alright, let me see. Did I, do I have any more skill points? I do. I want to look at getting the back, the backpack one. I don't remember which one it was, what it was though. Had to have been under strength, right? Pack meal. Here we go. So bag lady, strength level two. So how do I? Get strength level two. Do I gotta like? Oh, okay. I actually have to buy it. Okay, and then I buy strength level two, and now I could come and get pack mule level two. Okay, I'm tracking. It's, it's simple enough. Simple enough. Oh, Eddie, I'm glad you're enjoying it, brother. One thing we are gonna do though is stone, wood, feathers. And let's get a bunch more arrows crafted up.
the 50. Seriously? Got it. Those were the freaking iron arrows, too, unfortunately. Oh, I can get them back, though. There it is. Got another hunt. It's wabbit season. Try to build something. I plan on it. Uh, like I said, there's just so much I got to learn in the game. I'm not like... Right now, I'm trying to get my resources settled. Once I'm good on resources, you know, I'll focus on trying to find a more permanent... Because like the, I already know this is not going to be a good base for a permanent solution. You know what I mean? Just due to the fact that... This, it, it, from what It seems like you guys are saying the zombies can break through any point. So they could just like break through random walls and when it's not like they're forced to go through doors. We need to repair this. I mean, my thing is like how bad could the horde knight really be though you know what i mean we're talking like days gone level zombies chasing me like And serve. Oh, I could use a lockpick to open this one. Gosh, seriously? Well, I got it most of the way. Damn, seriously? Please don't do it to me, dude. Ah, there it is. Hey, bud. <laughs> Worth it? Wow, not bad, guys. We got some padded boots, water, a stone sledgehammer. That sounds awesome. And 70 rounds of 9 millimeter. Bakery here. Locked. No, wow, that's some strong glass, man. Place looks quite cool. gas station here has been absolutely shredded. Oh, nice. Get some fuel. Fuel, pretty important resource. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to rock them other boots here in, the, in a sec. I don't know if they're better than uh, the ones I have on. So I got, I got these boots on right here, these worn boots. 
They give me cold resistance and heat resistance. These give me... Oh, wow, yeah. Can't even compare the two. No, 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 stop. I don't want to waste a lock. Damn it, I broke my lock pick. I think that was my last one, too. Yep. Can you craft lock picks? Let me see. Lock pick. You can. You need a workstation, though. So, yeah, we're going to pretty much be depending on looting them. For the time being, uh, brass casings. I'm a fan of the looting in this game for real. A sand. So what is this for? Can you just eat? Oh, you can just eat the cornmeal. Okay. I didn't know what it was. Now I know. Let's take this sand. I could use it. Definitely some zombies in there. <laughs> Oh, you can buy stuff from any vending machine? It's quite expensive, though. Who's out, who's out here restocking the vending machines in the apocalypse, man? Police trunk? Didn't I, didn't I search the car? The police car? <laughs> when you run out of lockpicks, use... Uh, Zombies to break the door. Yo, that's a, that's actually not a bad idea. I wonder if I could draw him over here to really break this. Check town this way, man. It's a big, big town, guys. Holy crap. Gotta try to get some uh some transportation at some point. Heather, thank you so much for the super chat. Keep food water in your hot bar. Uh you can Oh, so when you have stuff in your hot bar, is it Oh, it's not in your inventory. I got the flashlight to drop that. Oh, I see. I see. Now, how does vehicles work? Can you, do you find them in the world? I've seen a parking garage over here. I was like, maybe I can find a car.
Oh, you got you got build them. this place. Building materials and stuff from here. Looks like like a, like a like a outdoor store. Like the outdoor section of a Lowe's. Garden section. Carl's cars, buy and go. Yeah, so this is like a tool site. Water. I need to craft up one of those spears, guys. Got this nightstick, and I've just been using the shit out of it because it's so good. But I do want to try a spear at some point. Let me see here. Stone spear. Oh, well, it's pretty easy to craft. We just need a bit of stone, a little bit of wood. Drop those. A little bit of wood and uh, some plant fibers. Say a few more stones. Post office number two. <laughs> Where's post office number one? Damn, that was a good one hit. Hit his whole head off. Oh shit. Pretty big hole in the ground there. Yeah, but you can't, it doesn't like go underground or anything. Can you dig in this game? Like at all? Or is it, it's not that type of game. Killed it, want that rabbit. You can dig? Like how, like what kind of digging though are we talking like? 
We're talking like Minecraft digging? Or are we talking like Sons of the Forest type digging? Fully destructible world? He said, make a, make a shovel and find out, bro. See, you'd see a game like this, you'd never think much of, of it in the terms of, like, digging. <laughs> Some auto stuff around here. Buy and go. Another little grocery store, it looks like. Yo, how big is this? Guys, it is still going. This place is massive. I'll never even loot this city. Gotta get my spear now. the look of the spear it looks pretty cool flashy the first time I ever played this game you know back um, forever ago I actually played it with the community um, that was the one of the downsides though is because the community everybody I was playing with was so good at the game I didn't really get a chance to do anything I was kind of just running around killing zombies while everybody did everything else. So that's why I'm uh, coming with more of a solo experience this time. But yeah, it's definitely a super dope game. Uh, with people. Got a big building there. Another buy and go here. Seven o'clock right now. I got till what ten before it before the sun goes down. Where did that even go? That's not the spear. Good knockdown. <laughs> it's pretty damn good. I wonder if you can upgrade your spe spear fighting ability to be able to just one shot them. Bunch of crit damage to the face. Get a higher level spear, you know what I mean? This is only a level one. I gotta eat and drink too. The town is just getting bigger. What's that? The military zombie. Oh, 
Oh, he looks cool. I wonder if he has... Eight o'clock, so let's start heading back. It's freaking sewer. Man, the exploration in this game is mind boggling. One thing that would make this super dope too is if um I, I know it probably doesn't have it in it but if there was like underground like cave systems and stuff like that like if you were digging in the ground and stuff you could like go into like underground like systems like if there was stuff not only on top of the map but underground that'd be dope I don't even remember how to get back to base. Okay, this way. A big biker zombie. Oh, there is an underground cave system? Seriously, Jax? That's crazy. Like, for real? more this way I believe this is my house right here right yep the Malone residence go look at cooking up some of these eggs I got a lot of eggs I would like to get this garage close. Oh, I could just close it. Look at that. Ah, <laughs> man. It just keeps getting better. Now, let me close. I got to close off this window, too. So. Let's empty out. Six eggs. We've got a 32 meat right now. We're actually doing quite well on the meat. Seeds. 
Yeah, I do like the spear. The spear feels pretty damn good. So let me see. What do we need to... Wood shutters, maybe? Okay, I might... Uh, I'll test that out. We'll see what that crafts. The wood shutters. Actually running a little low on wood. Wood cellar door. The double door. Wood fence. Wood hatch. Wood log. Wood shutters. Try one of these. John, thank you, thank you, man. Um, use box icon with one arrow to store your loot. What do you mean, John? The box icon with one arrow? You talking about the bigger chests? I was using the, the ones that I had there because I only needed uh, wood. I didn't need... Yep, there we go. Put that there, and then can I rotate it? But I have to do two of them. I can, I can do one out there, where I have like a double layer, like that, and then I'll do another two right here. Guys, thank you. We got over 500 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so now I can't... Okay, there we go. Oh, so you can't put two shutters on top of each other, it seems. Is it possible to just build a wall? Oh, I don't even know where that went. Like a little wall piece? Or do you build a block? Oh, I gotta remove the pole at the top. That would make sense. This light is gonna freaking be a damn seizure, man. Much better. <laughs> Much better. I, I knew I noticed the light flickering earlier, but um, it wasn't that bad until I like was standing over here for a really long time, and I was like, "Jesus, man, this thing just nonstop flickering." Okay, there we go. So now it's nighttime, guys. So, I wonder if I, I'll be okay clearing out the basement, you know, like, breaking stuff up down there. I wonder how much noise that would make. 
I don't want to like not do anything. A gift from that. Paper, get a decent bit of paper. I felt like this basement would have been my best bet. For like setting up a base. Hungry. That charred meat is just garbage status, man. Basement is a death trap. Now, is there any, is there structural integrity in this game? Like, like, you know, if you're up on something and a block gets broke, can, can a whole building collapse or is that not a thing? Is it, you know how, uh, my, uh, what is it? Floating blocks. Does this game have like the floating box? Eggs are freaking expensive, man. It takes water. We're gonna do some cooking. Oh, we're waiting. Just get the should probably move the fire downstairs. Be a lot less noticeable for from the zombies, right? If I move the campfire. Underground. So does it not matter where you build the fire? Like, I didn't know if it was going to like, because there's that window out there. So I didn't know if um, the zombies can like see the light or not. few landmines well, structural integrity that sounds pretty intense guys doesn't it so we can bake a potato got a couple things we can craft in here now, let me stop opening all this stuff like a madman that was the last thing I'm gonna open for right now Okay, so I can boil the eggs, I can char the meat. Um, now, is this game, like, as I do things, like, as I cook, my, my cooking will rank up? So, for instance, let's cook both of those. So, I was level 4 cooking before. Yeah, we're level 5 now.
Oh, you can make cornbread with corn cornmeal and water. Is there any way to like build like rain collectors or anything? Cause I'm struggling right now with freaking water, man. Or like dig a well. The new version you gotta buy a water filter. Let me see. What are the wa water? Your fire mod, water, mineral, rain, collector, dew collector. There we go. You can build these in stranded deep. Um, so not too expensive. Yeah, we need a water filter though. I feel like I've seen that at the trader. How much was that thing? Wasn't it like a, I think it was like a thousand. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it was like 500. Let's say we can get some of these crafted up, get some water going. But the filter, yeah, that's 15. Oh, man. <laughs> so it was both of what I said combined. Okay, so we got two baked potatoes. Said, I don't want to freaking boil these eggs because it's a waste of water right now. And like I said, I'm sure, I feel like once I'm once I get my water situation secure, I'll be good, so I can start using water as like a crafting resource too. But right now, I'm just hurting on water so much to drink. Like this five water, that's all I have. So it says you can eat eggs raw, so I might just start eating them raw. We can't make you sick, right? It says dysentery zero. Guess in the morning we'll go do another uh, run with the trader. We'll see if we can. Uh... Make bacon and eggs. The problem is, is freaking bacon and eggs is what? I think it was level 10 cooking. Yeah. No shit's uh But yeah, the bacon and eggs definitely definitely seems like like cause what it's probably just meat and eggs. But these are the only thing I can craft on. I can do corn, cornbread, baked potatoes, charred meat, and boiled eggs. And we're running low on food right now, so I'm probably going to have to char the meat. But the problem is the charred meat makes me drink more. It's just, yeah. That's why I was like, I'll just eat the raw egg, because at least there's no penalty to food and drink with those. Uh, even, even, even the baked potatoes make you... uh. Make you thirsty. Some foods dehydrate you, yeah. There we go. I'll keep that on me. Never mind. 
So I want to see if we have anything else that we could, uh... Sell in the morning. But I feel like before I go and make a freaking base, or like a water filter, I feel like I need to find a more permanent spot. But like I said, I don't mind making this like my, maybe my base, but like you guys were saying, when the horde comes, having like a different location to do the horde, you know what I mean? Then we could sell the money. Oh shit, so you can like scrap items too and get resources from it. I just scrapped that radiator and I'm getting 187 brass. Wait, so... Even all the shit that I thought was worthless is pretty good. You can do stuff with so much stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do some missions to like um once the daytime comes. That's 20% or bartering right there for three minutes. I do have a battery here. So let me see. Vehicles. What, I don't know where you'd find those. Or maybe I need... Isn't there like workbenches that you got to make? Like crafting, yeah, here we go. The, the forge and the workbench. So we got to get workstations leveled up. Try to see if there's anything else I want to sell. I use to brew tea and craft other items. Potassium nitrate. Uh, so you can make gunpowder with that. Got a fuel, the rotten flesh. Crossbow bolts, which we could scrap right now. The fuck is a pine cone for? Alright, so let's got this for teas. So these are all our crafting recipe or crafting items. Scrap and advanced armor. Scrap advanced armor, use tools and weapons to acquire these items. Use them to craft new items.
Okay, so I'm sitting at, what, 75 fuel now. A bunch of sand. What the hell to do with? So I'm going to try to sell that to the trader. I don't know if he's going to buy it, though. Sell the money to the trader. Sell this extra cooking pot to the trader. And then the rest of it, uh, I want to keep. And then we'll just do missions with them. And then uh, we got only a few more minutes and we'll be able to go out. Guys, I'm not worried about the horde. I'm not worried about it. Come on. I do want to thank you guys, though, for well over 600 likes on the stream. Remember, guys, um, I, I kind of wanted to just check this out. I didn't know if it was going to become a series or not. So whether we, you know, keep playing, um, that's just all dependent on you guys. I'm, if you guys are out here smashing the like button, you know, interacting with the content, then hell yeah, we're going to keep playing it. You know what I mean? So um, kind of just leaving that up to you guys. But I definitely wanted to check it out because so many of you guys kept asking. So here we are. I'm, I'm having a blast. Though it is, it is really cool. We're doing all right. You know what I mean? We're getting some stuff going here. Machete parts. Ooh, a hunting knife. Need blades 11 for that. And then the wooden bow. Need bows 10. Iron spear. That looks sick. Need spears 11. Pine cones can be planted to grow a tree. If I'm not afraid, go outside at night. I mean, that, like, can you go outside at night, guys? Like, do I need to stay in? Or am I just being like a little baby? You can go outside at night. All right, let me see the let me let me let me see the Fs in the chat if you stay in if you don't go out at night, like if you just stay inside. Let me see. You know, let me see the Ws in chat. Screw the Fs. Let me see them Ws in chat if you stay in base. Twenty feet down. Night spawns feral zombies. What do you mean feral zombies? Like state of the cape type feral zombies? I mean, the problem is the trader's not even, uh, the, the, my main thing is the trader's not even open.
in any building that I would loot, there's going to be tons of zombies inside, right? And then all of the zombies are going to be wicked scary. So it's like, what could, what could I possibly even do at night under those circumstances? Aha, see, I went outside, guys. I told you, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. And you guys thought I wouldn't do it. To set, I went outside. What do you mean? That was the actual dictionary definition of going outside. Look, I'm fucking outside, like, side, and I'm out. Can zombies see the light? Or does it... Oh, yeah, the light does ruin your stealth. I kind of want to fight this zombie to see how what they how they are at night. I wonder if I could sneak up behind him and hit him with stealth damage for like extra damage. Is there any like sneaky skills that make you like actually like super? Oh, so they still die the same at night. Cool picture. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. I was wondering if there was any like skills to make you like sneakier. We loot these close by spots. Is that a snake? As if the zombies weren't enough, bro? Come on, dude. Now there's fucking predatorial animals, really? Guys, what other animals are there? Like, don't, don't, don't do this to me. Is there, a, is there, like, killer animals in this game? Like, ones that will eat you? About to be normal zombies here in a few few minutes. That wasn't bad. 
Guys, I was outside. Oh, wow. So there is animals. Okay, awesome. Okay, we need some stone to repair that. Not that I need to repair it right now, but I'm going to break down this door if it's not... Yeah, it's not too bad. Seriously, I broke one little piece? I don't know why I thought I was going to break the whole thing. You gotta be like this, dude. I need a better freaking hatchet. I survived two nights. Well, kind of the first. The first one, I kind of died, but that was different. Really? No, there's a piece of stone right there. We're in. I didn't know they're gonna start freaking dropping down on me and shit. It's pretty crazy. Some of these places, like, they're all, like, climbing puzzles. Over here parkouring. You could ride a bicycle in this? Yeah, I think I got to get the workshop. I don't know how to do... Oh, seriously? I thought the other one was bad. Look at this. Like a balance beam on this blue thing. Like, seriously? Oh, there it is. Requires lock picks for the reinforced chest. Pistol mod, tactical warfare, robotics parts. What 
Wow, we just got a bunch of mags. Improves workstation. Perfect. Armor crafting. Bow crafting. Spear crafting. That was really good. Oh, nice. And we just got some antibiotics. Man, this was a nice spot. We just got another... Yep, now I can do grilled meat and red tea. We just got some lamb cuts. Military rations, it looks like. Improves salvage tool crafting. So we'll be able to go to the trader here soon. in here it has to be separate from where we just were but i don't have enough to break down that door it seems pretty reinforced Silla's Ranch. Vehicle crafting, spear crafting again, handgun crafting, armor crafting. We can now do tier one cloth and scrap quality two. So that means I can craft quality two cloth armor and scrap armor, right? If I'm not mistaken. Improves assault rifle crafting. I could do a pipe machine gun quality two. Hoping for some murky water. Why don't we find a freaking toilet paper? Or paper, not even toilet paper. Yeah. So Go, bitch, where the fuck did you come from? That really just not see her? Am I that blind? Oh, did she come from the roof? Sneaky little roof zombies.
Break pitchers on the wall for hidden stashes. Let's get to the trader. Go dump and then we'll get to the trader. Oh, I just made myself freaking super wet by going into the water. What is this? Robotic parts. A shotgun ammo because I did find that pipe shotgun. The only thing is, I haven't found a scenario on which I even need a gun right now. Use the box with the arrow, take items to fill up existing inventory stacks. Oh, I see, I see, I see what you're saying. Uh, I'm tracking now. I didn't know what you. I didn't know what they meant earlier when they, they said that. When John said that. So if I already have some in there, I could just click this and it'll just fill the existing inventory stuff, right? Or well, this. I'd hit this and it would put everything that I have in there, or vice versa. Okay, so we're hungry. Get over to the trader. George, brother, with another super chat dropping yet again another copy of Seven Days to Die for the community. Dude, you're awesome. I can craft level two spears now? Oh, I can. Let's see what our mission is. I might do another zombie clear. That one was quite easy and fun. What's your story? Damn things are selling like hotcakes. All right, so we'll do is clear zombies. This one's kind of close. Interested in a gig? That's just dandy. We've got a deal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a higher level spear, and we'll go do that zombie clear. Uh, 
Uh, you can search in the display right in front of them. I'll have to check that when I bring back when I get back with the mission. I'm gonna repair my bow also. So stone spear rank two. Oh, I could do a rank three, guys. Or, no, I can craft three. Never mind. I'm such an idiot. Oh, okay. I can only do a rank two. I thought I, I seen this and I was like, oh, my brain just thought I could craft a rank three, but no, I can only craft. I could craft three rank twos. That's cool though that you can switch the ranks. I wonder how far I am from rank three spears. Is there ever a reason to not craft the best rank? They don't cost any different. That's why I don't, I don't kind of confused. So where the hell is this mission area? 180 meters down that way. It's actually quite a bit closer than I thought. Biker zombie's still here, too. So does that, like, reset, like, the loot in the area, too? Or in this building? Quick. Tanky son of a gun, isn't he? I'm supposed to fix my bow when I didn't. There he is. Just got a level rank two pipe. Already have a rank three.
it is. Easy enough. Oh, nice. Got a level three pipe baton. Take aim. Nine millimeters weapons have 20% more range when using scope and iron sights. Where the hell is my hatchet? Did I store my hatchet earlier? <sighs> Alright, easy enough guys, we got her done. There, got a hatchet right there. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I didn't search. Yeah, I didn't search a lot of stuff in there, Becca. Yeah, when I was in there, I was I was only in there to do the mission, not loot out the building. And on my way out, I kind of just looted that uh, that one car. So I wonder if I could sell these. We'll check when we get over. I don't know if he'll buy weapons though that are. It'd be cool if he did. Actually, eat this. Repair them and he'll buy them. I think I, I think I do got some extra pipes though, so quite easy to repair these. Yeah, we got 15 pipes, and I think these just take pipes to repair, right? Yep. Boom. Get a little bit of extra money from them. Are you guys saying search the mailboxes? You mean like just like these little things right here? Uh, but he pays more for fully prepared items. Got you, got you. Yeah, I mean, definitely not that expensive to just throw a pipe into it. You know what I mean? Just to get a bit more money. Oh, every mailbox? Like, even I wonder if what the blue mailbox. This. 
Yeah. Getting those, uh, those magazines. And I think I can get a bundle of magazines from the trader, right? As a reward. A bun- an uh, actual reward? I don't know, we'll see what the rewards are. Hey, surprise, surprise. I suppose you want something in return now. He doesn't want that. Here you go. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Look at that. I never would have guessed so, you pulled So, 800 through, Dukes. But you did. 3,000 XP. So here you go. I can get 762 ammo, which is huge. I can get the Burning Shaft mod schematic. Oh, so you the thing about grabbing it, because this is a lot of ammo right here, guys. That's 60 rounds of 7.62. It's only three random crafting magazines, though, guys. Like, that doesn't really seem like a huge deal, especially at the rate we're finding magazines. Like... Definitely mangoes if ammo's not a reward. I mean, I gotta prep for that horde night, don't I, guys? And I'm, I'm according to you guys, I'm gonna need the bullets. <laughs> so we'll grab ammo. So like I said, I haven't really been having a hard time with the magazines at all. I wanna thank all the new subscribers to the channel too. I really appreciate you guys. All right, so let's see. We got a buried supplies nearby, another clear zombies, a fetch. And I'll get One of our operatives job. stashed their shipment at the Williams residence. Go retrieve the shipment and return it to me. Well, I'm waiting. Do I need a shovel for... I know... I remember before when I played this, people said that you needed a shovel for certain missions, yeah. right? For the buried supplied, that's not the one I'm on right now, right? I'm just on a retrieve supplies. Do I need, do I need a shovel for this one? Well, that's all you're gonna buy. I'll let you show yourself out. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I figured I could just craft a shovel. It's not, not, not that crazy. I just didn't know if I needed one right this very second for this mission or not.
residence right there with the giant hole in the side of it. Bunch of mailboxes over here. These residential areas. Oh, damn, I walked out of the... Damn, they didn't even give you a chance. I stepped out just... Not, it didn't even give me, like, a warning. It's all good. It was just, like, failed. I don't know if I'll get, be able to get access to that one again, or if I have to, like, or if that one's now just gone. Well, now we know not to leave the freaking area once it starts. my way back. Uh, you know, let's just do it right now. Fix this damn bow and arrow. What do I need to repair it? Oh, got it on me. Never mind. So this is the buried supplied one supplies, I've right? Got a task for you. Good so, luck. Let's get a we're gonna have to get a shovel for this one. So I already got enough wood. grass and wood. Alright, so this one's 400 this way. Assault Viper, how you doing tonight? Thank you so much for the gifted, brother. I appreciate you, man. Every 10 blocks you dig, there's a chance zombies will spawn in, really? Aren't these the things you guys said that you could potentially get honey from? Or somebody said something about tree stumps. I don't remember what they Maybe it's just wood. Oh, it's just wood. I thought I seen somebody earlier say something about tree stumps. Oh, a chance. Got you, got you.
the hell is that? Oh, lead. Dudes, man, and no joke. Hey, so Scott digging this area somewhere. Dig a hole, man. <laughs> How deep is this shit? That shit could be deep. I thought it was just gonna be like, I had to dig a little bit of the surface or something, you know, and boom, it'll be right there. Circle will get smaller. Stamina is just the main killer right now. I'll make sure I can get back out effect efficiently. Yo, look at this, yo. You can really dig. You just dig an underground base, guys? I think it's going to be more this way. Closer to the treasure, guys. <laughs> Babe, did I see what? There it is. Stop. Let me out. No, I didn't see what you said, man. I just leave, right?
So would wouldn't digging an underground base be like super good? I see I see what you said now, but Yeah, I'll check her. No shortage of bird nests in here. Tell you what, a lot of birds. Oh, the zombies can dig. Yeah. What if you build an underground metal bunker? Must think you're pretty hot shit now. Well, you did it, so I'll honor our agreement. 109 millimeter. Oof, it's crazy. I definitely grab that. I mean, Ten Molotovs is not a bad deal either, though. Sound because that that sounds like it'd be ten mollies seem like they'd be pretty expensive to craft. I wonder if that'll help with uh, fighting hordes. Seems way more expensive. I was still, I mean, the 9mm, the only problem with the 9mm is I don't even have a gun to shoot it. And there's no guarantee I'm going to even get a 9mm. So the Molotovs are something I could get and use right now. It's a good bit of 9mm, though, man. Let me see, because, yeah, this guy, he doesn't. That's enough chit-chat for me today. Let's see, so you guys said I could search this display case, right? Yep, right there. Wrench. <laughs> Another wrench. Zombies will never be out of it's indestructible here, right? Wrench is huge. Uh, wrench takes apart cars. Got an engine. Oh wow, you get tons of mechanical stuff from the springs. 
Lights, gas. Oh, shit. Good resources right there, guys. I could probably craft the pipe pistol now that I'm thinking about it. Right? Tons of resources right here. That's what's up. We're waiting for our stamina. Do I have any skill points? Nope. Use wrenches on TVs and computers. Look at that. Yeah, we just got our hands on tons of stuff. Bunch of gas, too. Gotta get some more levels and workbenches. I'm having a great time with this, though, guys. Definitely having a great time. I hope you guys are, too. Like I said, if you guys want this to be a series, all you gotta do is smash that like button. Uh, let me know, especially in the comments, you know, what you guys thought. And if you guys want to see more. Definitely a true survival game, 100%. Let's see here. like car parts you know we got a battery here i got an engine here i don't know if, if, if that's what we need to make the vehicles damn that gives you a huge melee boost 400 percent melee damage for one minute with that grandpa's moonshine That is huge. Oh, drop that in there. Keep that. Um, yeah, all these can go in here. I kind of want to test out a gun, though. I haven't even tried to shoot. I, wanna, I just kind of want to see what it's like to let a gun off, guys. How loud it is, how many zombies it calls. I'll do it a little bit away from my base, though. Just curious, because this gun... Oh, wait, actually, we'll kill this chicken with it. Makes hunting a bit easier. I let that off. It wasn't too bad. Another chicken right there. Quite accurate. Probably a bit overkill for a chicken, you know, especially the ammo. 
I'm over here just... Uh, that, that's the one thing I think. Ammo's probably the, the hard thing. So, I mean, I got a few bullets right now, but... I, I just don't know the scale of how many bullets it's going to take to defend a Horde Knight. Raid? Who raided? Another chicken, man. Yo, these chickens are freaking everywhere. Koth, hey, thank you for the raid, brother. How you doing tonight? There it is. Well, that's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. I hope you're having a great night. That's awesome. Yeah, we're out here uh, testing out a gun, and uh, it's pretty damn good. It's pretty good. Getting some chicken hunting done right now. Look how barren it is, guys. There's no zombies in town right now. That's crazy. The second you step inside one of these buildings, there's a million of them. office here. Tons of mailboxes. I'll teach how to craft. Yeah, the same here. I actually haven't played this game since, like, a, a long time. Uh, like, I think it was, like, Alpha 17 or something like, or something like that. But it was, it was definitely before 18 and 19 when I played it. Like I said, I think maybe maybe when I played it, Alpha 19 was going to be like, damn it, I just broke a lockpick. I forget. You can't cancel it. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a lot different than the uh, last time I played it, too. Those are all locks. So we have to, we'd have to break in there to get in. Actually, get over right here. Oop. Come on, stop it. What if you could build? Can you like block build and climb like Minecraft? <laughs> hmm. 
Nice. Now we can get Spears 3, guys. Oh, and ladders too? Makes sense. <laughs> That extra sneak damage is clutch. Shit. I don't want this, guys. I don't want to be in here like this. Not like this. I wasn't ready. How do I get out? Construction site box. Oh, I got wire tools. Cool. Happening. Oh, I fucked up, guys. I fucked up. 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 Damn, that shit was crazy, guys. Might not have seemed crazy, but it was crazy to me. All right.
stun came in clutch, dude. Yeah, good thing I bought that ammo, right? Let's hit all this loot right here. That was a lot of magazines. Let's throw some bird outside. Open. Can you stack drinks together? No, I mean like stack drinks as in as in the drinking action, like the timer. Well, does it stack or is it like you have to wait for the other one to wear off before you can drink again? Okay, you can. Awesome. Some good progress here. Not what I expected coming into the post office, guys. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't end up. I think I'd end up in the underground mailroom. Got a level four club too though. That's twenty melee compared to fifteen. So it actually does more melee than my um No it does yeah, it does more melee than the baton. So let's get that Suffered a what? Okay, I can use painkillers. And snake, dude. Like, why was a random ass snake? Oh, it wasn't. There was a snake cage over there. Right there. Nice guys, we just found ourselves a pistol. Keep it in the inventory for right now. Let's 
No, I kind of wish I grabbed that nine mil, right? <laughs> I got. I think I got some nine mil back at base, so it's not a big deal. We got. We got a bet. Bitch. Oh, is that from that concussion? That's a that's a cool injury. On the mailboxes here. Do pipe pistol three. Uh, I don't know how the snake gave me a concussion. I think maybe it bit me and I smacked my head on the back of the wall as I was running away. It's the only thing I could think of. I mean, probably what most people would do if a rattlesnake just randomly just started trying to kill you. I'm pretty sure most of us would probably smack the back of our head onto something, trying to get the hell out of the out of the way. Lucky we didn't get like poisoned, right? I don't know if you can get poisoned, but that would have sucked. The, what I, the reason why I got nervous when I fell in that hole, guys, because I didn't know how long it was going to take to get out. So I was like, damn, it's about to be nighttime. I'm going to be stuck in this hole. I, I, was, I was not a happy camper for a second there. Oh, I did get a I got a jar of honey there. Got a decent bit of meat. Um, the only thing we still got to do is get our cooking level up, man. Oh, no, 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 no. We're good. We're good. Yes. No, I need 10. Shit, I thought it was 8. Come on, dude. One more. One more freaking cooking thing and we'll be, we'll be set. Yeah, yeah, see right here, I got the 9mm ammo.
Nice. 15 round mags, too. And granted, it's only a rank one handgun, but still. Seems like my area's calmed down quite a bit, though. Hopefully it stays like this, because then it's nice and peaceful at night. We don't have to really worry about much. Yeah, well, I feel like I'm making some okay progress. Let me uh, take these painkillers for the concussion. Oh, look at that. Easy, easy cure. Uh, no, yeah, we're still playing Ark. Yeah, we're still playing Ark. Uh, we're just got a progression um, issue right now that we're trying to clear up. Uh, but we'll be doing a Desert Titan and hopefully King Titan here shortly. All right, there it is. All right, guys, so we're going to end this episode here. Um, is there like a save button or does it just like auto save? I don't know. I don't know. Um, boy, yeah, we're going to end this episode here. Uh, we're definitely going to be, uh, probably checking this out again. As long as you guys want to see more of it, we're going to be playing some more of it for sure. Auto save. Okay. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I had a blast. I had a blast. I have not seen a bear or wolf, no, uh, just a snake. Snake, chickens, rabbit, and those flying bird things. Almost 800 likes, guys. I really do appreciate it. Holy crap, that's huge. So, again, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Uh, we'll be back doing some more streams tomorrow. Um, GTA will be one of them because of the new update. And... Um, I was also thinking about firing up my um, modded cyberpunk playthrough because um, I need to get prepped up for that new DLC that's going to be coming out. I got new game plus work. I got a whole bunch of stuff working for that. So I'm really excited about that playthrough too. Um, I, was, I was messing around on it earlier and I was having a freaking time of my life. Such a good game. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing some more stuff tomorrow. Uh, I might be on the second channel tomorrow doing some arc early in the morning because I do got some, like I said, we got some stuff I got to do. I got to breed up some wyverns, get um, get a hold of people on the server, see, you know, how much they can, con con you know, contribute towards the boss fights and then um, go from there. So um, thank you guys again. I really appreciate all the love, all the support. If you haven't on your way out, a hey, smash that like button if you guys want to see some more of this. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, I consider subscribing. It really, really helps out. And uh, other than that, you guys have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.